Hi everyone, this is Yann Camus of Bliss Climbing and today I want to compare the new Nano Traction by Petzel that I think will become very popular and the incredibly popular Micro Traction by Petzel. So I have both in hands, let's see how they compare. By the way, many thanks to Maple Leaf Ropes they have shipped me one of the few nano tractions that they received. Uh, they will get a bunch more very soon and you can go see their website. I will post a link in the description. So let's start off with the weight because you know the nano traction is maybe a tiny version of the micro traction. The micro traction on my weight scale is 80 grams and the nano traction is 51 gram on my scale so 30 gram reduction so that's about a 40 ish percent weight reduction but the micro traction is already tiny and light so you won't notice such a big difference if you have just one. If you're using multiple of these devices, then it could be interesting to have um, the nano tractions instead. You, you gain 30-ish grams every time you change a micro, you switch it to a nano. So weight aside, uh, one of the big differences is the size of the pulley. Uh, yes, Pedzel will tell you that they are maybe 90% efficiency, but there is something happening in a pulley that's more about the size of the pulley than uh, the quality of the bearings, okay? They are both ball bearings pulleys, by the way. Uh, so if you take a bigger rope like this one, I think it's around 10 millimeter this one then if you pass it on a bigger size pulley like the micro traction then the weight that you apply on the rope like this it will uh, it will squish the rope on the pulley and the the smaller the pulley uh, the the more squishing happening uh, on the rope and that squishing every time you pull on the rope there this rope has to squish on the pulley uh, and that requires some energy that creates drag and it's not discussed often but if you test small pulleys big pulleys you will notice that there's more to the ball bearing than the ball bearings and the size matters somehow so if you go on the nano traction um, the pulley is much smaller and the squishing effect will be increased I will have to do some precise tests of what is the friction on both of the device to uh, compare them I will not measure exactly the size of the pulley right there. I will put it in the description. So if you want the measurement, exact me measurement, uh, go see in the description. I would say that the nano traction has a pulley size 60% that of the micro traction. As for the strength of the devices, as you can see in the manual, exactly the same the micro traction is known to shred the sheet of the rope at around 4.5 4.8 kilonewtons for most rope sizes thinner ropes less strength obviously uh, we will have to test the nano traction more in order to know how they compare exactly with the micro traction it's listed at 4 kilonewtons to be safe on the progress capture there. Uh, both devices, they, the pulley would break at 15 kilonewtons. If you look at the specs for compatibility with the ropes, it's interesting. 
uh, the micro traction is compatible with dynamic and semi-static ropes of 8 to 11 millimeters. The nano traction has increased its capability because it's uh, compatible with dynamic 7 to 11 millimeter and with semi-static but 8.5 to 11 millimeter. So you lose half a millimeter uh, in the semi-static ropes and you gain a full millimeter uh, in the dynamic ropes. Also something quite interesting when you look on the side like this you will see that the micro traction is wider where the nano traction is really thin. So I never thought that the micro tractions was too thick and it, this device fits in most carabiners, even the ones that are narrow, like the bottom of this carabiner here. It's quite narrow and it fits just fine, but the Nano will fit even better in narrow carabiners. It even fits in a 7 millimeter quick link, right there at the bottom. Quite impressive. The Micro will not fit there. Now, if you look inside the device, you will find out that both of the cams, they look exactly the same. I even looked at uh, them with a lens and they, they look exactly the same. I believe they, they are the same. So if the cams are the same, then I would think that the spring is the same also. But what I notice is there's there's quite a bit of difference between the stiffness of the springs. My nano traction has the spring much stronger and that will affect how easily the rope will get in the device and how easily the device can slide up the rope for example. So right now uh, there is a significant difference in how much weight is needed to make the rope slide in the devices. The nano traction will give me more friction. If you have both a brand new micro and a brand new nano, please try to gauge the stiffness of the springs and let me know in the comment if you think that the Nano has a stiffer uh, spring. Maybe it's only the old micros or maybe it's because it's been used a lot and now the spring is uh, smoother, it's easier to, to move. But I like this better. So if I do a quick assessment of how much weight is required to let the micro traction slide up the rope, uh, this is enough here for the micro traction by far. It is 270 grams. Now, if I put the same 270 grams with the Nano, you see that it doesn't slide. Okay, how much do I need? Let's try to add weight. Okay, this is just enough to let it slide but it, it's not sliding as easy as the micro 440 grams so as I said there's a lot of friction happening with that nano and there's more look at the size of the holes that accept the carabiners there's a big difference between the two uh, with the Nano having a smaller hole. What happens with that? If you take a Petzl OK and you put it in the Nano Traction, then the space that's left for the rope between the pulley and the carabiner is too small for thick ropes. It 
it creates a lot of friction between the carabiner and the pulley right here. So the friction is really terrible. It's really bad. What Petzel recommends to pair up with the nano traction seems to be the SMD, the small carabiner, and it has a thinner shape. And yes, it's effective in reducing this friction between the carabiner and the pulley inside to let the rope go through better. With the micro traction, in part because the connector hole is bigger, there's more space between the pulley and the carabiner to let the rope through. So you can have any size of bar for the carabiner and it will go through much easier. When I go top rope solo, may, call me a freak, but sometimes I like to have a heavy duty ANSI steel carabiner to connect myself to uh, my top rope soloing device. If I want that, then the nano traction is not my device of choice because it will not leave a whole lot of space for my rope to go through and it will create more uh, friction on the rope. But if you have a backup and you should have a backup, then it's, it's really okay to go with aluminum connectors for top rope solo, no problem with that. So if you go with the Nano, I suggest you look at the SMD. Another advantage with the SMD, it has a tiny hole right there that's used to connect a thin cord to the nano traction and that will make it very hard to lose because they will stay connected together. Uh, you might be using this connection here to attach to a chest harness if you're top rope soloing, but I did not test that. I'm not sure it's the best way to attach the nano traction for top rope solo. And by the way, I didn't test it yet, top rope soloing, but yes, the next time I go out top rope soloing, I will bring that one because I really want to test it out a lot. And notice the SMD has another advantage. Uh, it is pretty flat on both sides here, so that makes it very reasonable to connect the Nano up there or turn it upside down and put it down there. So the SMD is a great carabiner. It will work well with the Micro Traction 2. A very important difference between the Micro and the Nano is that with the Micro, you can push the cam up like this and there's a retaining metal part right here that will retain the cam up. With the nano traction, you don't have that. So if you want to use only the pulley without the progress capture function, you need the micro traction. But if you're top rope soloing, it could be safer to use the nano traction because it will always remain pressed on the rope. But warning, they have the same problem in that regard. If there's any ice that covers the cam or if there's dirt, uh, wood chips, uh, whatever in your shirt going right there on the teeth of the cam, then it could slide down and you'll have a problem if you don't have a backup. So use a backup. When I go top rope soloing, another thing I like about the micro is I found two ways of keeping it on the rope, wrapping down with my gris, gris and where the teeth will stay up there and not catch on the rope. And so I can keep the micro traction on the rope, wrap it down, and then I just engage the teeth, clip it back correctly to my harness, and just go back on top rope solo mode. Um, with this one, I would not be able to do it and I will 
need to remove it entirely from the rope so that it lets me go down on rappel. Some people will say that you could attach a cord at the back, there's a hole in the back of the cam there, and hold that with your hand and then rappel like this. Uh, you would have to test it out for yourself. Uh, I did never did that and I I don't like the idea of having some cord hanging there on the nano or the micro tracks. Why? Especially because if the cord ever goes in the device on the cam, it could uh, make impossible the teeth to go on the rope and it will make the device slide and fail and that I don't like. I call them obstructions, anything that will make your system fail. For me, I try to minimize that. Now for big wall climbing, I know the micro traction is used a lot for hauling loads. Um, it is very useful to be able to lift the cam there and keep it lifted. So I would not recommend the nano traction even if the size of the pulley might not be a problem if you're using a ratchet because it's the pulley in the ratchet that will do all the job of the holding efficiently and this will be used only for progress capture so it would be possible to use the nano on a big wall so all in all what do i recommend well uh, the Nano is a little bit cheaper, yes, but to me money is just money and whatever you need you should get. Uh, if you have just one of them, I would say go with the Micro because it has more features to it. it you get more compatibility with carabiners and you have okay compatibility with ropes. So everything is fine about the Micro. It has a bigger pulley so you will have more efficiency uh, in the real world. I mean, not on paper, with the ball bearings being 90% efficient, like this is bullshit. The Nano Traction, I would recommend if you're getting a second device or if you're getting more than one, as you know, to speed climb or to do something really specific, then the Nano Traction could be what you're looking for. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel and go see other videos clicking right there. Go see my website. There's a lot about rope soloing, including courses. Link in the description. Thank you.